user ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. If the theory that tar jets are somehow connected to the beach is correct, then Mountain Knot City may very well be in danger of being consumed by the other side. Which is why they need you to close off the ones in that region before it's too late. However, if we were to use an antimatter bomb, our scientists think it might be enough to sever the connection. They used to research antimatter propulsion technology here before the first expedition. Using antimatter sequestered by the beach, believe it or not. But those experiments were eventually suspended. The researchers never came close to developing anything workable, and the dangers were deemed far too great. When Bridges One arrived, they assumed control of their facilities and antimatter stores. To minimize the risk of a catastrophic annihilation, the antimatter was partitioned using special magnetic traps. We repurposed those traps to make the bomb. Once the magnetic field is removed, the antimatter comes into contact with the casing and triggers a void out. Now, it goes without saying, but if one of these things goes off en route, we'll have a catastrophe on our hands. And to make matters worse, the traps weren't designed to be transported. Sure, the container carrying the bomb has a built-in stabilizer, but it's not something you want to tip over or drop. If those magnets fail, you're gone along with everything else for miles around. So yeah, you could call this a dangerous delivery, but I can't think of anyone better equipped to handle it. Get it done, Sam. We're counting on you.
Be advised, Sam. The case for that antimatter bomb was not designed for long distance transport. The magnetic traps that keep the antimatter sequestered are delicate. A powerful impact, reckless driving, an unbalanced carrier. There are all kinds of ways the traps could fail. Any abnormalities detected within the case should trigger an alarm. If it goes off, you're doing it wrong. And if the bomb goes off, we'll have a disaster on our hands. The kind we can't come back from.
evaluation. doing bridges that network you're building is carrying some nasty stuff stuff nobody would want anywhere near them i thought you people would figure that out by now we want no part of your chiral network or the uca that voice is that you mama uh you hit your head there mama i'm not yours and yours is no kind of mother all right enough games mama <laughs> heard me, mister. Mountain Knot City is telling you and the UCA to take a hike. You people keep doing what you're doing and you're gonna put us right back on the road to the Death Stranding. We didn't ask for you to come and tell us how to live our lives. We'll decide that for ourselves, thank you very much. All we want from you is the occasional delivery. Nothing else. So you speak for the city? That's right. I'm in charge. The name is Lochna. Lochna? Hold up, I, I need to talk to you. You're a technician, right? Look, go home and don't come back. Listen to me, damn it. I need your help. Well, we don't need yours, Bridges. You're only making things worse. Sorry you had to deal with that, Sam. She's the boss over there, and she's not afraid to lay down the law. We need her. And we need her people. We've lost too many others as it is. Without Mountain Knot City, the Cairo Network and the UCA will never be complete. What now? So, here's the thing. Sam, 
Lachna is Mama's twin sister. Former bridge is one. Went west with the others. Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not her real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Both have dooms and both are scientific geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lachna's is theoretical. Mama designed the Cupid hardware. Lachna, the software. They said they could converse over any distance. Said they had a special bond that let them. I don't know how that's possible, but I'll tell you this. There wouldn't be a chiral network without them. They were so close that some said they were like one person in two bodies. Might be why they were able to develop the Cupid. But they had a falling out after Molingan's accident. Lachna left bridges and cut off all contact with us. I don't know what happened between them. But if we don't bring Lachna around, our plans to make America whole again are finished. Not that I'm asking you to stick your nose in their personal business. Though if you did, it might help us figure out how to bring Lachna around. Which would be great, because our plans to make America whole again are finished without her. In the meantime, if you've got any bright ideas, feel free to give them a shot. Good work. Pleasant journey. 